And now students, we are now at the economics of the onion crop. Um, we have come a long journey and uh, in this section we are going to see how profitable is our onion crop. We are going to see at the input that you need and also the output of the production. And also we look at uh, some of the figures that uh, we are looking at in the onion crop. Uh, it's important to note that uh, these figures, uh, as you can see, your total input would amount to around 25 80 US dollars. But uh, when you look at these figures, you realize it will vary from place to place. For example, I can be able to, to look out uh, to pinpoint some of the issues. Uh, for example, when you look at uh, the seed purchase, maybe uh, almost the same, or maybe it, it may vary with uh, maybe the country where you, you are. For the land lease, you may find maybe you, the land is yours, or maybe you are, you are, you are family, you are ancestral land, so you may, not, you may not need this cost. In the land preparation, you may find maybe you are in a venture with maybe two of you and decide you are going to do the land preparation, or maybe you own a tractor. Uh, so that cost may also go down. Manuring, you will find uh, it is costing 200 US dollars, but you may find maybe um, you can get manure cheaply within your locality or maybe within your home you have manure well decomposed manure ready so you may find this cost may also go down of course the fertilizer may be static uh, pesticide cost may also be static but when you look at the labor you may find that uh, if maybe you are partnered between two uh, two of you you may find that uh, you can decide maybe to uh, to uh, to give the labor or do the labor yourself and also for the watering uh, watering this cost is mainly on the fuel for pumping so this is one is static for harvesting uh, it may be static because of um, maybe you'll need more people to do the same and then when you look at the net uh, sorry the straw maybe you may be having a straw where you can store it here we are looking at somebody maybe you're establishing you don't have a straw and of course uh, once you do this straw you use 500 uh, around uh, 500 us dollars then of course from the second season for the following season uh, you know uh, within a year we usually do two seasons of of uh, onions and therefore of course the 500 will not be a cost in your in your second crop it's just a one time cost for the net also that is a static cost and of course they have put a miscellaneous of 800. So you can be able to see there are so many variations but for the sake of our course we are going to uh, to do it this way. We are, we are assuming you don't have land, you don't have labor, you need to south south labor, you need to do everything. That's why we are doing this. But of course you ha have some factors here. If maybe you have land, you are near river, you are, you know, uh, you can get cheap labor. Of course the mathematics changes. Okay, over here in terms of production, uh, you can see we have put the production at uh, 220,000 kgs for one acre when you use one kg of seed. But of course here, uh, with uh, maybe if you have good soils and you have uh, uh, excellent management, we have seen farmers going even uh, up to 25, up to 20, uh, up to 30,000 kgs. And also we have seen maybe some farmers even doing 10 kgs and uh, it is important to note that uh, once you put good management in it you are going to go to 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 do uh, good good uh, production and I said a key thing here is uh, when you're establishing the nursery at least uh, you ensure that uh, you don't get a lot of uh, damage a lot of uh, seed loss in the nursery so that you can get good production average price at uh, 0 0.5 us dollars but sometimes it gets even up to one us dollar or even even up to 1.5 us dollar depending on uh, maybe the market and the supply and demand in the market of uh, the onion and therefore we just decided to put an average of uh, 0 0.5 us dollars uh, per that is price per kg and therefore when you look at uh, the inputs, of course you are going to need uh, the seeds 
um, you are going to need the, to list the land where you are going to plant your onions. Uh, we have the land preparation, the plowing, you may need some fencing, you may need some preparation to prepare the, uh, the basins. For manure, you need manure uh, so that you can be able to uh, improve the condition of your soil and the, and the land. Then the fertilizer depending on the soil analysis. Uh, the pesticide for control of uh, insects and pests and also for foliar fertilization. For the labor, uh, of course you are going to need the labor during transplanting of the seed of the uh, of the seedlings you will need the labor during harvesting and all this we have put it at uh, 40,000 uh, that is a uh, 400 US dollars and then we have the water uh, pumping from the river uh, then you do uh, of course during harvesting actually this is this is the labor uh, you'll have a farm hand uh, permanently in your farm and also during transplanting you will need of course during harvesting there is a cost uh, doing the store the nets you are going to store the onions and of course the miscellaneous so all the input comes to uh, 25 80 us dollars when you look at the production per acre 20,000 on average then uh, i said this may go up depending on your management average price 0 0.5 us dollars it may still go up for example, at some areas, the prevailing price at the moment is around 0 0.5 US dollar, uh, 0 0.8 US dollar. So this this pricing may go up, uh, and therefore we are looking at uh, if you are able to produce on average 20,000 kgs, you sell at an average of uh, five 0 0.5 US dollar. Um, your gross margin then your gross income will be 10,000 US dollars. And when you less your, <clears throat> your input, your net income becomes 74, 20 US dollars. So this is for one acre of a crop. When you go to half acre of a crop, then you are going to, uh, to go to 35, uh, 3,500 US dollars. But of course, uh, when you less your total output, even if you do half an acre, of course, with half an acre, it will be a bit less because you are going to use half of this. Uh, of course, in land lease, you are going to have half of this. You are going to see like your cost is still go down. You may find that uh, for half an acre, you may use around uh, 1,500 uh, 1, uh, US dollars for the input for half an acre. So getting a gross income of that 500, you see, is still significant and you still get good profit. Still for half an acre, the same quarter of an acre, an eighth of an acre at that price. But uh, you have to note that uh, when you are doing big acreage, uh, maybe an acre and above, you enjoy economies of scale, whereby you are going to use less cost uh, and uh, you are going to have more production. So profitability will be more uh, when you are doing uh, more acreages. And therefore, with these uh, economics that uh, I have presented, you can be able to see that uh, onion farming is profitable. It is not uh, um, a farming that maybe you can do for trial and error. It is a kind of farming that you do, and you know there is input, there is, a, in, there is a income, there is return on investment. And therefore, you can be able to see um, investing in uh, investing twenty-five, eighty dollars, and then getting a, a, a net income of 75, that is more than 300%. Uh, and therefore, once you do your mathematics very well, you follow the instruction, you follow the course outline very well, the instruction that we have given, uh, onion farming is profitable and it's going to give you good returns. And we are going to go on uh, with the farming uh, because you are not say uh, you do short term, maybe you do one time, but you are talking about uh, this year you do the onion crop and you continue maybe twice a year. And even if it, you are doing one acre, you can even do two or three acres so that you can enlarge your farm.